Hi everyone, this is Miss D at D Special Things. I know, first I have to tell everyone, Happy New Year. Wow, it's been a while. Um, yes, I am so glad to be back. I hope everyone had a great, I mean, just had great holidays and all that kind of stuff. Um, wow, I've had a long holiday season since Thanksgiving, catching pneumonia, all the way through Christmas and the New Year's, I got a another cold. So, yeah, I am finally back, and I'm feeling a lot better. And guess what I'm doing? Yes, I am actually participating in a collaboration with Terry, and her YouTube name is Terry E01, and Don, uh, Dare to Be Creative, in a bunch of other ladies here on YouTube. If you want to know who they are, look down in the description box. Um, yeah, um, because we're actually going to share our Julie Nutting dolls. I know, right? I love Julie Nutting. And you see I have some teeny, teeny ones here. Yeah, I do. But I'm going to move those because I did want to have, I mean, show you something. And those will actually be in the way, so I'll sit them back here. Um, I know all of you love, love, love the Julie Nutting Dolls. I like them too. I think it was in 2012. Could have been 2011. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. When she came out with the dolls, with the doll collections. The very first one. Um, I tell you what. There, oh, this thing goes forever. Um, because... I started with her collection, uh, let's see, I'll just show you, the, it's a lot, and I have every one of her collections, except for 2016, I'll have to look to see what those are because I was involved in so many other things, I, I mean, I got the planner ones, which you really didn't need, and I'll show you, I mean, if, unless you wanted the sentiments. I'll show you what you can use in lieu of those. Yes. If you have the card stamps, you can actually use those for your planner stamps. Because, guess what? They are pretty much the same size. Okay? Let me, for example, this is one of the planner stamps. I'll show you the planner stamps. Um, this is one of the planner stamps. I'm going to show you my project later. I shouldn't have showed you that, huh? But here are the planner stamps. And they are just about the same size as the little card stamps, which tells me that is why she didn't do all these over again. Because if you have these, you pretty much have the sizes that she made the little planner stamps and they are super super cute but just so I could tell you there's lots of other accessories I think right now I'm counting 60 something actual stamps that I have um, and like I said is the, the the Halloween ones and I think a few of the other ones that had the die sets to go to I don't have yet but there's also, and usually, if you want to do these, the fun thing about this, even with the planner ones, you can use them any way you want. You don't necessarily have to just use them in your planner. You can use them on the tags that she has. I have all of her tags. That's one. This is one. Let's see. I think there's a... I have all of these tags. If, if you haven't seen those, these are the tag pads. A good thing to have. I'm sure they're still around, but these came out. Even the watercolor tag pad. Um, yes, yeah, so these are great things to use. I collected these. Yeah, for a while I had so many of them. I had to start giving them away in racks because yeah, I uh, 
I got so confused as to which stamps I had. Well, initially it didn't turn out right for me because when the stamps came out, they were so popular. I wanted them, wanted them, wanted them. I ended up ordering double sets. So I gave my, I gave a set to uh, Terry, E01. And we've been making dolls ever since then. They do have background stamps for your mixed media. Um, I think I have a few. And that, mind you, I don't have everything over here. And I really can't. I don't know where I put the rest of her stuff. They have albums. It's a house, but it's an album, a book, and you and they have little house furniture pieces that go with it. I wish I could show you that. Then I have some jewelry that you use on the dolls for the era dolls. Um, yeah, so it's uh, I want to say it's probably over seventy snaps now. I know there is eleven collections now or it could be 10 um well really it's more than that because they also have um this one and this one with the clothes they come with the clothes and i don't know where i, I have all this stuff but you get you get an idea of what i am talking about there's lots of everything to do with these dolls a thing that i love to do now i'll tell you some of the things that i've done and then i'm going to show you our project let me tell you about that first the collaboration you can either be a uh, collaborator and you can do this once a month with us um the months are um pretty much the general months the months of the year um and you yeah like for January, we're doing winter. For February, it'll probably be, be excuse me, be February. Um, and we're doing it like that. But we're going to give you a prompt once a month so that you could kind of, you know, put an element on it or do something to it so that it's pretty much the same um, in the style that you make it. That one element you'll see on everyone's uh project now there was a concern about the holidays for people that want to participate but didn't do holidays that's fine and dandy just put a a month and a year on your stamp and you can make it however you want it if for instance we do thanksgiving you don't celebrate thanksgiving put november 2017 on your stamp and do it whatever thanksgiving mean to you or however you want to do it that way no one is missing um the fun that we're gonna have yes and it's all about the fun you guys this is all strictly about the fun i will show you because when i did the video i couldn't talk so i had to do a slideshow um and then if i did talk and i know i tried that on another video i didn't want to hear myself so yeah i'll show you a few of the projects that i've done over time i'm not going through them piece by piece but this is a book that I never finished guess what I'm going to do during this our collaboration time I am actually going to finish my book I did not finish this book I always wanted to do this book I put it up the book got away from me yes I get to finish my book okay and now that I'm going to finish and I'm looking at it I um this is a faith book I just did a faith journal and I love these because all you do is you use, I use, though I use paper to weigh it, um, this is pretty much a, you know, I just binded it with some hard, sturdy paper that I got, I think, from, what was it, who was this, uh, Tuesday morning. And it was bunches of it. So, yeah, I think I'm going to even make another one. But I'm going to finish this faith journal. Yes, and I'm going to show it to you. Now, I did say the January month, this month, was winter. That was it. That was our prompt, winter. So, you could do your project any way that you want. I'll go ahead and I'm going to show you one project that I did that was a winter month. I don't know what I did with the other one that I had. Okay. This is one of them that I actually did. And I don't know if you can see that. And it's a shaker. 
and I used, and I'll have to get them. I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared. All right, and I'm sure you all know. Excuse me, what these are. I use these every year to make Christmas ornaments, and I thought this was great because now I'm going to show you and there are these right here. And, you know, they come close. But you can use, you get two for the price of one. I think uh, last year, year before, AC Moore had theirs on sale. They were a um, dollar. And they had an after Christmas sale. I think it was 80, 90% off. I think I paid 10 cents a piece for these. So I bought loads of them. Um, yeah, so... I used these, and this can be an ornament. I didn't like this one because I didn't like those this little stuff. Yeah, these little pieces hanging off. They look like icicles, and it says Beautiful Magic. And there you are. I actually even put this on the back side um, because it was just sitting there. So I put it back there just in case you want to make it an, an ornament, right? Okay. Then... I did this one and it also has a shaker in it but as you can see yeah on the outside it says snow much joy yes and I just put some snow little bees in there I took a Julie Nutting doll put her in there I used some Christmas it was a paper from a Christmas collection but it's snow stuff so yeah I put it in here but I want to show you how you can actually use this Okay, I'm going to show you, and I know this is, I'm going to try not to make it long. These are books, journals that I made. See how I put one of my tags on here? These are journals that I made, and they were supposed to be uh, Christmas presents. I didn't get a chance to finish them because, yes, I got ill. I didn't get a chance to do a lot of stuff. But, you can actually take these... <clears throat> And put them on the front of your books and decorate all around them. And they make an excellent gift. Yes, and an excellent piece to go on the front of your book. Isn't that cute? Yes. I thought that was so cute. Yes, yeah, so that idea um, stuck with me. But I wasn't able to finish these books up. They make perfect. Yeah. And I have some smaller ones too that I think they're by Creatology. And you can use those and use smaller ones. I have a lot of those that you can actually use. Um, I think I got them from probably Tuesday morning. But you could use those. That's an idea, right? Okay, so I'm just trying to give you ideas that I would like to use. And I'm hoping that I'm able to either inspire someone or I get some inspiration. That's really what I'm hoping for. That I can get some inspiration out of this and do more projects. Because when I tell you, a lot of my uh, stamps that I have, I haven't used them. Because I think last year, year before, I kind of got stuck. Went on to doing other things. And I really didn't get a chance to do a lot of them. Okay, now I do have this right here. The, these are the rosettes. Is that cute or what? I love these rosettes, right? Okay, as you can see the back of it. You could put all your information on it or you could even decorate it. I use these doilies. I use the little... I use a little bit of everything on there. Yeah, and I took one of the dolls and I just cut the bottom part, half of her off. And I put it on the door and it says happy winter. A great thing to use in your <clears throat> envelope stuffers. Or I'm, I'm going to come up with an idea for those two. I'll have to show you guys when I do my little. Yeah, I think I can because I have the right color envelope that I'm planning on using. I'll show you what I do with this. But yes, there is that. I took two of the rosettes. I made one bigger than the other and all you're doing is taking a strip of paper um, and punching the edges and scoring them however thick you want them and you put them together 
and there you are so that's one of my projects and then for the last project because I don't want this to be too long and then I'll move ahead I purchased these during right after Halloween when they had their 90% off sale on all their Halloween stuff they had a bunch of these and I actually paid about 15 cents a piece for them they had a bunch of them so I just bought them all and I painted it white here it is and I used some paper that was from a, a Christmas stack and I took two of the small dolls now these dolls these are not from the planner are they I'll have to see I think are those from the planner okay that's a good example those are not from the planner those are her small stamps these and like I told you they're the same size I used the happy winter one they're pretty much the same size as the stamps from her planner stamps. The only difference in the planner stamps and the reason I wanted those was each of them come with all of those sentiments. So I had to get the planner stamps and um, yes because all of them come with the sentiments. So yeah I actually took this and I cut a piece of paper out of the piece of paper that I used as a background for that other one I fussy cut her clothes I put them on if you'll notice all of my dolls wear red shoes it's a long story but I had asked my granddaughter about it and she said mm, not so much anymore so <laughs> she was telling me no it doesn't have to be red anymore because I think she's past that stage where she still likes red shoes because she I had to look all over the place for a pair of red vans for her you know but she said she's not as excited as she used to be about red but I used a let's see I have snow on here the little dots I added snow to it I used a piece of paper from is that the ice crystals collection or it could have been another one I don't know but I wasn't happy with the paper collection this year anyway um, not the Christmas one I used the deco art glistening snow rider for the snow if you could see it on there and I put it on the bottom where his shoes are. And then I actually made this so that it hangs. Yeah, and I just used some glitter sequin stuff Yeah, on there. But yeah, and this could be a little plaque that someone could hang from their tree or whatever. And if you notice, I had mentioned to you what I do to each of my tags or projects that I make. I put the year and the month on it so if by chance we come across a holiday and doing this collaboration that you don't do just do your project just the way you was you were going to do it and put the month and the year on there on the back side I really just covered it and if I keep this I'll put my inf if I don't keep this if I give it to someone I'll put the information on the back part of it and give it away like that but I use both of those girls I fussy cut her I mean fussy cut them and I just use different clothing on them of course the shoes are red I colored her I didn't color her I used buff paper uh, by Julie Nutting yeah that was another thing she does have her own paper um, and she has a lot of paper I just haven't showed you that um, yeah and I can't pull it out now but yeah this is my winter theme for my collaboration this month so I'm hoping that all of you play along with us or you all that want to play just play along with us and all you have to do is post your video show what it is that you did and uh, yeah send an email link to Terry so that she would know if you're because you don't have to do it we're doing it for 12 months you do not have to do it every single month if you can only do it that month, do it that month. And hey, but it's fun because I'm going to do a whole lot of Julie Nutting stuff this year. At least I know I'll get one a month done. <laughs> yep, nothing else. But yeah, okay. I really appreciate you all coming to the collab to see what it is we're doing. Or coming over to the channel to see us do this collab. And um, yeah, check down the links in the bottom 
I'll post those uh, to see what the other ladies are doing, the ones that are playing along this month, and the ones that are regular collaborators will post those. And if you just want to play along, hey, come play with us. This is going to be fun. I'm looking for lots of inspiration. So all through the year, guys, I'm looking forward to it. Remember now, you could do displays and you could do swaps with them. If you don't want to keep this, just take it and... Send it to a friend. Right now, I have a whole IC card thing filled with people that I could send stuff to. So, I'm not worried about how much I make because I can make plenty and still send to people. Alright, you guys. Um, I'm playing catch up as far as my channel goes or as far as me doing projects. I'm playing catch up and I have to go back a few months just to catch up. So, you guys bear with me. I'm going to, you'll start seeing stuff from me in the mail. But right now, I just sent thanks, Thanksgiving. Yeah, I just went through a terrible time trying to catch up with stuff. And uh, hey, come join us. Make some, you know, displays or do some swaps or. Make an altar item and use your Julie Nutting Dolls. Do your planners, especially you all. I do have a planner. I started my planners already this year. Um, but, like I said, I haven't been on top of things, so it's not really complete. I usually show you my planners, and I have about five of them because I have one here. One in my computer room, one on my desk at work, one for my Bible journaling, and I use one for my... Um, uh, yeah, just this kind of stuff. Yeah, so I actually have five planners that I use at all times. So, yes, yeah, a lot, but it's not because they're in different places. The one in my computer room has everything in it. I know I'm rambling. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, these projects, I had fun making them. I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna make more stuff today, but. Um, I hope you come and join us. Yeah, this should be fun. I just, I mean, think outside of the box. Just do stuff. Yeah, just have fun with it. And, you know, because that's what it's all about. Yeah. All right, you guys. Hey, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. And Happy New Year. <laughs>